Welcome to Nasir Soft. This is the object oriented basic concepts tutorial series and in this video we will talk about the main object oriented concepts. So the object oriented programming if we talk about the OOP is the core of Java. In Java the object oriented programming is the core and even we write a single program of hello world then the OOP principle is also required to run a single program or, or to write a single program in Java so therefore OOP is the core of Java in C++ if we talk about OOP is an optional we can write a program without the using of OOP in C++ but in Java it is mandatory even to a simple Java program so in Java we must understand the basics of OOPs so the first is what is abstraction abstraction is an essential element of object oriented programming in is abstraction okay its main goal is to handle complexity by hiding unnecessary details from the user abstraction is selecting data from a large pool to show only the relevant details to the object so abstraction is very simple in abstraction we just show the relevant details to user and hide the irrelevant data so let's uh, understand it with an example abstraction in the real world abstraction in the real world we uh, understand the abstraction concept by a coffee machine for example I am coffee addictive I wake up in the morning I go to my kitchen switch on the coffee machine and make coffee so it sound familiar making coffee with a machine is a good example of abstraction so we need to know how to use coffee machine to make coffee you need to provide water and coffee beans switch it on and select the kind of coffee you need to get the thing you don't need to know is how the coffee machine is working internally to brew a fresh cup of delicious coffee we not need to uh, know what is the ideal temperature and amount of ground coffee you need to use so we just need to know how to use the coffee machine so that is the real world abstraction example so in this coffee machine example we not need to details how it internally works but we need to know how we use it so this is the abstraction concept and it is same in OOP we use it okay we we see in uh, in our program later how we use the abstraction in object oriented programming through java okay so guys hope you understand the main concept of the abstraction so now let's move to the next slide three OOP principles all object oriented programming language provides mechanism that help you implement the object oriented model they are number one encapsulation number two inheritance number three polymorphism encapsulation encapsulation is the mechanism that binds together code and data it manipulates and keep both safe from outside interference and misuse in Java the basic of encapsulation is class okay this is a class encapsulation concept is meant for better management or grouping of relevant data and the basic of encapsulation is public private and protected the protected and these are the uh, different scope of uh, that method or uh, class or variable that we declare okay if the method is okay if we talk about the variables if the variable is private that it can only be assessed through the scope of the class public uh, very uh, inside the public functions and the protected is uh, scope is the uh, from the class and outside the class that other classes that inherit that class okay and the public is through or throughout all the all where in the class is accessible advantage of encapsulation encapsulation is binding the data with its 
related functionalities here functionalities means method and data means variables so we keep variables and method in one place that place is class so class is the base for an encapsulation with java encapsulation you can hide restrict access to critical data members in your code which improves security for example just declare it as a private as we discussed earlier if a data member is declared private then it can only be accessed within the same class not outside the class can access data members variables of other class okay if we want uh, to access that variable outside the class then we should declare it public or protected okay and in the next slides or in next topic we will uh, discuss the difference between both uh, these three private public protected in through the java code okay now move toward the next poop basic principle that is inheritance and that is most most important inheritance is very simple it is the process by which one object acquires the properties of another object it is important because it supports the concept of hierarchical classification okay for example if we have an animal class and the animal class have many functions for example they eat they breathe they sleep there are different behaviors and other class is mammals subclass that is inherited from the animal class so if we talk about in our daily words then mammal class is a child class and animal class is a parent class so mammal class have add all these attributes of the animal class okay basically in inherited from the animal class so mammal cross uh, class have all the attributes of animal class and and other than its own uh, attributes for example okay such type of uh, mammal for example it's it is a type of teeth it has the memory glands okay so inheritance interacts with encapsulation as well to understand the inheritance let's see it with an example okay for example we have an human class and a doctor class and you see that in inside the human class there are various attributes for example if i write these attributes here the attributes is human eat sorry here human can eat okay human can sleep human can study for example and human can walk these are the attributes or behavior okay and in oop for we uh, we say it the method okay the human can do eat sleep study walk okay if we talk about the doctor so the doctor is for example inherited from the human class or the doctor is the child class of the human or the human is the parent class of the doctor so let's uh, from the arrow okay and here write the arrow okay something meaningful go to the sides and here okay so the uh, doctor class is the child class of the human and it have all these attributes inherited for example the doctor have uh, the attributes of eat sleep study walk other than its own attributes and its own attributes is for example to check the patient and to uh, suggest some medicine to the patients according to its disease so for example if i copy all these attributes and paste here inside the doctor so doc doctor basically is a child class so it has all these attributes of its parent doctor other than its own attributes and its own attributes is uh medicine suggestion medicine something short form okay and its own attributes is check patient 
conditions okay and many more attributes so the key concept is that when a class a class is a subclass of a parent class then it has all the attributes of the parent class and some other attributes its own so hope guys you will understand the concept of inheritance now and uh, and in inheritance there are many more things and i am not uh, explain it to you okay we will check it later now you need just to check all the uh, this basic concept of the inheritance and i hope you will understand so if a given class encapsulates some attributes then any subclass will have the same attributes plus any that it adds as part of its specialization so that we talk uh, earlier okay just a uh, through the diagram so now we can move toward the next oop basic principle that is polymorphism it comes from greek word meaning many forms it is a feature that allows one interface to be used from a general classification polymorphism is an oop concept where one name can have many forms and it is very simple for example we have in the picture you see that we have three function with the same name that is sum and but different parameter the first or type of variable okay in uh, and the type the first is integer a first function has sum and it has two parameter the first is a and b as an integer the second one is the same function name with three parameters of integers and the last one is the with uh, same function name with two uh, different parameters and the first is floating and second is double so if we call in uh, uh, the sum and based on the uh, parameters that we passed it automatically decide through the polymorphism then which function is invoked for example if we call the sum function with two parameters and the first parameter is 5 and another is 6 then the first function is invoked basically both are the integer and the parameter are 2 and if we uh, call the sum function with three parameters 5 6 and 7 then the second function is invoked with three parameters and if we invoke uh, the sum function and pass the parameter the first is 3.0 and second one is 5.6.0 for example so then the third automatically it decide based on the polymorphism then which function uh, will be called based on the parameters so that as the uh, that is the most important concept of, of oop and it is polymorphism and it is the our life okay so this math in inside the polymorphism there are two more concept the first is method overloading okay the second is overriding and this is the overloading concept okay the method has same name with different parameter or type and the second concept is very simple that is overriding and to understand the overriding let's see uh, the uh, pictures we discussed earlier so for example this is the child class of doctor and its parent class is human and it has the eat fun uh, function okay let's see the doctor has also an eat function method okay so how to know basically doctor have its own eat and its parent eat function so how to call the doctor own eat function or the doctor uh, parent eat function so basically this is the concept of overriding when a parent and child class has the same function then how to override that function inside the child class so this is the main concept of overriding and this is very simple if we call if we uh, create an object of the child class and we want to call its parent eat function then uh, with the parent dot the function or method name we call the parent one or when we create an object of the child class and just through that object the call the that method then it will call the subclass function so the main concept is very simple 
and overriding means that when we override a function of a parent class to a child class then this is the concept of polymorphism so hope guys you will understand all these uh, three main concept of object oriented programming in this video I not explain in more details we will explain it uh, in more details in other tutorials of this series with code thanks for watching stay blessed have a nice day don't forget to subscribe my channel